This is a very ambitious restaurant. It was a project that's taken nearly three years to create from scratch. Everything was chained up. Literally no one had been inside this thing for 40 years. The place was time war. First thing I remember is just seeing old Singer sewing machines, the type that you, you know, used to kick with spools of cotton still on them. I mean, they were just extraordinary. And rows of the damn things. We just wandered around. I mean, it must have been for a couple of hours. It all started to percolate in our minds, really, I guess, from that day on, how we could do this thing. You know, a lot of people are scared about heritage listed buildings. For us, we were sort of very excited about the building being protected. Obviously, we had to do some re-engineering in the 21st century sense. We were hell-bent to maintain the integrity of the original building. We have been working really hard with George Lidiasis, who's a fantastic architect. Here it was just about making sure that each space had its own intimacy, so you didn't feel like you were in a big food hall. And then we focused all of the new work and I think the contemporary skin in the core of the building. I feel like it's fairly minimal, it's fairly raw and pretty lo-fi. And I feel like that's the type of environment that helps support the Chin Chin brand. What we've aimed to do is pull the essential DNA of Chin Chin, put it into Sydney and overlay it with local sensibilities. So Sydney has a different environment up here, a different culture up here, a different climate up here. It's basically a new restaurant. For us, it's really about evolving the brand. We essentially open restaurants that we want to go to, and that's how the brands have been born. All the hard work, the exhaustion, pressure to try and open a beautiful Sydney restaurant makes it worthwhile when we get such a huge and warm response from the dining public.